What's new in the world, my people? My name is Cyblade, and welcome to Monster Hunter World. A game that really helps you appreciate the beauty of nature by slaughtering its creations and capturing them and for your own amusement. Let's get into it, shall we? Now, what's new in the world today is I... It's the birthday of one of my good friends, Venom Rules All. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. He doesn't really make videos anymore, I think. It's been two years since his last one, but he still made some pretty good videos, so go ahead and check them out, and here we go. This is my character, Ray Zara. She's pretty cool. I found out that uh, Venom is uh, struggling to get past a wall in the game that many people struggle with at first is Anjanath, which is basically a fire-breathing T-Rex, which is understandable. Like I said, a lot of people had problems with it, including me, for quite a while. Now, it's a pretty easy fix if, you know, you're an online player and you can hunt with a big group, but uh, Venom and I are not, or Venom isn't anyway, is he doesn't want to spend the money for PlayStation Plus, which is required for online multiplayer, which is understandable. I didn't want to either until uh, I got to the end of the game and had to fight Behemoth. I tried doing it solo and... Uh, don't solo behemoth. It will not end well for you, I promise. The game even tells you, do not try to solo it. Now, as you can see by the massive sword on my back, I am a great sword main, but uh, Venom is a bow main, so... Here's a few tips and tricks for how to handle him, or yeah, for bow mains on how to deal with Anjanath. Actually, first thing important for every hunt in the game, got to make sure you have the proper equipment. Potions, mega potions. Max potions and ancient potions, which all are very helpful, you know. These two refill your health. The, this one completely restores your health and even extends it to its limit. And same with this one and stamina. These are traps, which are, again, useful for stunning the monster, trapping the monster, obviously, and leaving it vulnerable for attacks. So. Now, as I said before, Anjanath breathes fire. It is very much a fire elemental monster, so... All monsters in the game have elemental weaknesses. Oh, here we are at the smithy, and I suggested this to uh, Venom in our... Uh, online chats and such that he should uh should forge a water-based weapon which will deal water-based damage which is Anjanath is very much weak to
So extra damage is always good, you know. There we go. Aqua arrow. Now this is currently, I believe, as high as you can level. Yes, this is the max level you can currently reach with this weapon. Now, neat trick with the bow is, you can see on the sides, it has coatings which you can put on your arrows to give them extra powers. Like, you saw close range, put that on, it makes your arrows more effective at close range. Power just makes them stronger at any range. And then there's statuses, but this bow in particular can't use statuses, so there's really no point. Now, I'm being a little cocky here. I'm going in with absolutely no armor, which is, I do not recommend, but most of my armor is well beyond the level that it is in low rank, which is where I think Venom is stuck now, most likely. So, yeah. oh, wait, almost forgot one important thing. I already told Venom this, but uh, also important to bring for these hunts is uh, barrel bombs, which, you know, are bombs obviously you can use them to attack the monster for a lot of damage so preparation is or yes preparation is now done now it's time for you know to eat a meal and properly buff yourself up for the hunt so You'll see it says attack and defense up S. That'll make me slightly stronger and give me more defense so I won't get killed as easily. So, here we go. Yes, a bunch of cats are making my food. I'm sure that's not a health code violation at all. I mean, it does look amazing, though. I would totally eat all of that. It looks delicious. Oh, man. Man, that is good. I mean, that's way more food than one person should honestly be able to eat, but, you know, again, video game logic. And all that did look amazing. I bet those cats could make, it a, could make a great turducken. For those that don't know, the turducken is um, a deboned chicken inside a deboned duck inside deboned turkey. I've never had it, but it sounds really good, and, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up, so it's an idea for the holidays. Now, this is the handler, your sidekick. You basically go talk to her whenever you want to go out on a hunt, so... Go. Minus infection, hunt in Anginath. And yeah. yeah. Like I said, you know that little warning there you can't use certain features without a PlayStation Plus membership. Mine recently ran out because I didn't pay, so yeah, now I can't use online features, so I'm going into this hunt solo. Well, with the exception of my cat here, Renegade. Probably can't even tell that's a cat with the armor, but yes, that is... Your feline com comrade, who I named Renegade, and he accompanies you through the hunt, you know... He'll draw the monster's attacks, he'll help you fight, and on occasion, you know, he, he will heal you with special items called Vigor Wasps. So, very useful. 
And off we go. Now this is an optional quest which lets you hunt the monsters after the story. You can't redo story missions to hunt these things, so... Yeah, once you've done the story, you hunt them in optional quests if you want to hunt them again. Now, in the story, you need to hunt Anjanath because... It is the only real threat for hunting or us trying to capture a giant volcano dragon. So yes, we think that we can capture a dragon the size of a small mountain, but a little T-Rex monster might get in the way of that. You'd think that if you're worried about a monster the size of a T-Rex, then a monster the size of a mountain would be a little beyond your pay grade, but... Oh well. We're stubborn people. I've got Janjanas tracks, so now I'm on its trail. These little bugs called scout flies are leading me to it, and here it is. Anjanas. One of the strongest predators in the ancient forest. Second only to the mighty Rathalos, the apex of the ancient forest. Now this is useful, these two are going, this iguana monster, the great Jagras, are, hey get back here. Ordinarily, they're supposed to fight and get into a turf war, which allows you an opportunity to seriously mess them up while they're distracted with each other. Uh oh. Ow. Where, Jagras, where'd you go? Kinda need you right now, man. Uh, well... That plan went down the drain real fast. So I was going to say, yes, lesson one as a hunter would be to use the environment to your advantage. Other monsters, you know, if you can trick Anjanath into attacking them, then they will attack it in retaliation, helping you deal some much needed damage to the monster, and and taking Anjanath's, you know, attention off you, so you are no longer in direct danger. Oh yes, and uh, this is a little trick, um, my um, cat, Renegade, is able to uh, tame the smaller monsters around the um, arena because, because we've done missions for the native felines. In this case, the bug trapper, so, um... We did a mission for the bug trapper, so they taught Renegade how to communicate with and essentially convince a Jagras to join our side. So now instead of two on one, it's three on one. Now you can, as you can see, uh, Anjanas nose bone and tail hip wings are out, which means it's enraged, which means it's faster and going to hit harder. So this is generally the time you go on the defensive, but I'm not going to do that. The 
remember what I said about using the environment to your advantage. You'll notice this giant hanging boulder obstruction here. I shoot that with my slinger and oh no! And fail miserably. Ordinarily that was supposed to drop on Anjanath and do a lot of damage and knock him down to make him easier to damage, but I screwed up so and missed, so now I don't get free damage. Again with the environment though, there are these wedge beetles, you can grapple up to them and swing on them like Spider-Man. Which is handy, helps you move around faster, or in this case, keeps me out of Anjanath's reach. And lets me drop down on him. <sighs> yes, if you hit a monster with a jumping attack, then you will... If you do enough damage, you'll mount the monster and... Well, get on its back where it can't attack you, but you do steady damage to it. There we go, now it's down. You can get in some free damage. Now, also important to note that certain monsters, if you hit them in certain areas, then parts will break off them. In this case, I was shooting Anjanath's tail. So, if I, event if I do enough damage, then eventually the tail will come off and Anjanath will lose its tail slapping ability and I can carve the tail for some extra materials that I can use to craft armor and weapons later on. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh god. Now I haven't been doing too good of a job showing off the bow's capabilities. It's a very useful weapon. Again, I personally prefer the greatsword, but the bow has its I mean every weapon is great in some way or another. The bow, it's obviously a mid-range weapon. You don't want to be too close, but you can't be too far either. You'll notice that there's the um, crosshairs in the center of the screen, and this, and if I hold the button down, and oh, Convenient, what I was saying earlier, Toby Kadachi and, uh, that's Toby Kadachi, that, um, part snake, part flying squirrel, and part electric eel somehow, don't ask me how that works, but... Oh god, no! Oh, oh help me, oh! Renegade! Don't let him eat me! So, again... Hold the button down, then... You'll see that circle closing in on the crosshairs, and... Ooh, I broke uh, Andanas' face, so... That'll be useful. Oh, it broke his leg, actually. You saw the X-shaped scar on his leg. the bow, if you press X, then you'll sidestep and ready a power shot with the bow. 
very useful. Oh, Toby's back. He's gonna help us out. Or maybe kill us. I'm not sure which. Up. He's helping for now. Up. Oh, he's done helping. He, he wants to kill us now. And if you press um, R2 and Circle, which is which are the two shooting buttons for oh no, not again! Oh. Yeah, clearly these hunters are superhuman, or else you know my hunter obviously should have died from being smashed in that thing's jaws. So like I was saying, yes, R2 and circle, that lets you shoot, uh, shoot this large balloon thing that drops down a bunch of iron balls onto the target. Doesn't do, I mean, the balls themselves do very little damage, but... You know, how, with how many they drop, they are going, the damage will really add up. And finally, my favorite attack, because it's the most powerful with the bow, is... Ow! And good, you, you do enough damage, or just, you know, the, the fight goes on long enough, the monsters will tire out. So yeah, that was the Dragon Piercer. A powerful charge shot with where you know uh, you scrape the arrow on the ground and somehow this makes it super powerful and explosive and you shoot it and it just rips through the monster I don't know how I got the nose bone when I'm carving its stomach but yeah that's what it is with these games you know you can never really uh, choose what you get from carving the monster. I guess it's, you know, sort of like, you know, random chance adds an element of fun and makes sure that you'll keep coming back when you don't get the parts you want. But, you know, at the same time, you'd think, you know, a hunter would carve out exactly what they want after killing a giant monster. You know, they wouldn't just randomly take a few pieces and then leave the whole body, you know. You'd strip it for every part you could. And I completed the mission, so now I get rewards. A bunch of pelts, armor spears, that obviously lets you upgrade your armor. Bones for, you know, materials for making better armor. Honey, you can... Combine that with potions to make mega potions, which heal you more. Again, I didn't really need them because I had my cat healing me most of the time. Ma Macalite ore, again, armor and weapon materials. There we go. Venom, I hope that really helped you out and informed you on how to deal with Anjaneth. Yes, so, I didn't even really get to the part I was trying to show everyone, is eventually when you do enough damage to the monster, it'll go to a hiding spot and sleep in order to regain health, at which point uh, you can follow it, and when it's sleeping, you attack it, typically with your strongest attacks to do maximum damage, or... What I was going to do was put down the barrel bombs right by its face and then explode them with a dragon piercer shot for absolute maximum damage, but things worked out pretty well, as you saw. And one final note is when they're weak enough... Wait a sec. Yes, I did, so... You can put down a trap to trap them, like I said, and then if you hit them with these tranquilizer bombs, 
that puts them to sleep and you've captured the monster for study rather than killing it and you'd see it down here where a scientist would like I said be studying it we'd take notes of certain features and bring a bunch of scout flies to get familiar with its scent before releasing it into the wild very um, much like modern scientists you know we tag certain animals and then release them into the wild and monitor them which is you know nice an alternative to killing them so yeah like I, that joke I made in the beginning you know appreciate nature by killing nature that's just a joke, you can always choose to capture them instead of kill them if you want to keep your conscience clear. I try to, but a lot of the times I never pay attention to... If you notice the little HUD map compass in the corner, uh, bottom left corner you would have noticed there was the uh, symbol of the Anjanath there and a skull coming from it that would mean it's close to death and I could then capture it but again I wasn't paying attention my bad but yeah, if you pay enough attention you'll see there's a skull icon which means it's close to death and can be captured so put down a trap throw some trank bombs and you'll have yourself an anjaneth and be able to learn a lot more about them you know you can talk to the scientist studying him he'll tell you a few fun facts and your monster knowledge ranking will go up and it'll make it easier to find Anjanaths again in the next hunt but that's everything I've got to say so again Venom happy birthday and I hope this helped and I hope you all enjoyed this Monster Hunter World truly an amazing game and I look forward to eventually getting the expansion Monster Hunter Iceborne, which will l open up a bunch more monsters from classic games that I never got the chance to hunt before. I've only played uh, Monster Hunter 2 before this on the PSP, but that's a story for another day. So again, I hope you all like this. And if you like my videos and want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. And, you know, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it around with all your friends, and until next time, my people, stay sharp.